been great in the fact that you're learning a lot of skills, you're able to help, you're able to serve, put people at ease, which is great. Um, but also I, I do need to, and I'll admit, be the first to admit a little bit more self-care and prioritize uh, things a little bit more because it, it can get rough. But I'm thankful to be here and thank you. Thank you for all of you joining us just to be able to share our stories and our successes and uh, what it is that we're going through. Thank you guys. Well, if you don't mind, I'll pipe in. Um, um, well, uh, my experience with the whole business with this issue that we're all uh, facing as a group, um, maybe what, three weeks ago on a Saturday, uh, we've been discussing amongst a group of friends, we've been discussing, you know, getting ahead of planning and trying to convince our schools to plan ahead and look at what's happening and all the stuff that can be happening soon and that we're going to have to prepare for it. So we'd better make a plan. So um, that Saturday, I was in swimming lessons with my kid and I texted my school leader and I said, you know what, uh, a group of friends we've been working, we've been hammering out like proposals for plans on how to deal in the case the school closes. And I know it's really far off and we're not really considering this yet, but would you like a presentation on this that I can show the council on Monday? And she said, yeah, sure. We've been precisely discussing this and we weren't sure how to proceed. So that Monday I went in, I gave out my presentation. I told guys, look, Look at it this way, even if nothing does happen and we don't really close schools or anything, we're going to be prepared for the next one. Or if, you know, something happens to the building and we are forced to not be able to attend, then we're going to have, you know, we're going to have choices. So we'd better prepare for the worst. And if nothing happens, then it's all cool. Uh, the next day I was asked to together a PD plan for that week. Uh, I said that. I, by myself, I'm the only ed tech person in the school. So it's so it's it's a lot to process and I'm not going to make PD for 200 people at the same time. It would be insane. I said, look, I need support. Uh, so I called up a couple of friends. We drafted a plan by Friday. We presented what we wanted to do uh, by next Monday. We had we, we did PD for everyone. And uh, the next day, the school was closed. Everybody went home. We had to finish PD remotely. And that Thursday, online classes started. And we're right now, we're starting our second week with the kids off, uh, online, off campus. And it's been insane. Uh, we're doing it staggered. This week has been not that bad. But tomorrow, we begin what they call phase two. And phase two adds another extra hour of classes for every kid that's uh, doing online. So tomorrow is going to be an interesting day. Um, if any of you guys are still in the middle of everything, uh, our best recommendation is uh, leverage the stuff you already know. Don't introduce any new craziness because you're only going to drive your teachers crazy. If you, if you really, really uh, leverage the stuff everybody's comfortable with, adding maybe some video conferencing thing will make everything easier and you won't drive people insane. And that's more or less it. And it's been not bad. And the other thing is um, what I've been trying to tell my leaders is when this is over and when we go back, please don't ever try and tell our teachers, okay, we're going back to normal. There is no normal. Normal is going to be completely different after this is over than what we did before. We, we're gonna have to talk about before, and that's what we did before. And our new normal is you know, having a better consideration of how to deal with all these sorts of impasses. And lots of teachers were uh, forced, kicking and screaming, to adopt new technologies that they didn't want to before. But now, given the circumstances, they're embracing the possibilities. And I think as a staff, and as a school, we're all better for it. And I'm sure it's the best for everybody else. So yeah. And uh, if you need to reach out, because I think I'm being called to dinner, but if you're being, if you would like to reach out, uh, Carlos and uh, Alfonso, I'm sure have my, uh, my contact details. Uh, uh, you can reach me at, uh, at 
Pertus with a Z, L U I S F E R, uh, just in case I'm being called. But you know, guys, I love being here. I love sharing with anybody. So if you need me more, I'm, I'm going to check if they're calling me and I'm just going to mute myself and I'll be back. Well, I just want to say thank you. And uh, one of the things that I do want to add, I know what Luis was saying, it's like, I know we've been very, very busy and with work and everything. And it's funny, you know, being the share captain, I haven't really been able to share much and not even on my own personal social media, uh, nothing at all whatsoever till today, I shared something there in the gag forum, but things will get better. And I think I, I agree with what Omar had mentioned in the chat. Also, it's just like the the new norm there's going to be a new normal you know it has been redefined but thank you guys for being here and i want to thank carlos and maggie as well as for allowing me the opportunity to be part of this gag and uh, take on the role of share captain and as always i'm here to serve you in any which way that i can thank you guys Hi guys. Sure. Uh, my name is Maggie Ojeda and I'm really excited to be here. It's been a um, a long day today, but it's a happy, happy tired. You know, those happy tireds because you know that you were able to get something meaningful done. Not, th not that we weren't doing things meaningful, but now meaningful is taking on a whole other, um, a whole other, I don't know what the word would be. Um, it's just totally different now. You're like, I, I just, I, I don't know. Are y'all? I know y'all are feeling it too. Where, at once upon a time, you knew this was the right thing to do, but yet nobody understood you. You were misunderstood. Did y'all? Did y'all ever feel misunderstood, in in the areas where you were? And and so here we are now, and and uh, and it's almost like there isn't enough time in the day. And uh, the the need is great, and we are being um, just. It's a it's a privilege to be able to lead some of these pieces and share some of these things. Um, I'm really um, just humbled by it all, and just hope that we can continue. Um, I'm grateful to be connected to you all. Um, you all are. I I I I follow your feeds and. I'm I'm blessed to to know all of you, every single one of you. I think that the the community that we are, the tech community, um, we see each other, we know about each other, but each one of us in our own small little areas of influence have been doing what we can with what we have and trying to help our people. And uh, I think that it's so reassuring, um, you know, um, and it's it's a confirmation even for personal um person in, in in one's own personal professional journey um i just and i know that you know i i just i'm so i'm grateful and uh i'm grateful to be part of the gag and that carlos reached out and you know and fawns and i see omar on the line i see natividad and dr karen and and i don't know who else is joining us today um i don't i'm kind of trying to scroll here as i'm, I'm looking um, there's a, a new person named Kelly. I can't wait to get to know Kelly more. And I just got to meet Mr. Luis Betus. I know that I know that Fonz and and uh, Carlos had mentioned them before because they're working on their innovator app and and all of that. And so I'm just really excited, guys. I could I could talk all day, Carlos. So you really shouldn't have released the floor to me. <laughs> But uh, I, I don't know. I, I just th thank you, Carlos. I'm going to hand the floor back over to you. Otherwise, I'll keep talking. You, you know, Fonz, I, I was like, you're like trying to warn me. Yeah, Maggie, that's enough. 
<laughs> you guys, <laughs> I love you guys. Y'all are awesome. Oye, Omar, ¿dónde está feliz? Ay, aquí estoy, mi vida. A ver, a ver, te un abrazo, amiga. Ay, de allá. <laughs> Anda pijamas. Ah, bueno, no. <laughs> Or, or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> you guys are we'll hilarious. Believe it at that. Bueno, pues. Bueno, pues. Um, I don't know, Carlos, if I can add something, if you're good with that. Um, yeah. Alfonso? Sounds good to me. Um, yeah, and, and just to kind of add to what, what's been said, uh, I know... Our roles, a lot of it, like as campus technologists, for me, it was like, okay, update the website, you know, do little things and just kind of showcase what's been going on. But now, uh, like you mentioned, is like, Mr. Lopez, put this up on the side and make sure it's on the front page and make sure this is the second button on there. So a lot of the info that's new to our parents and that needed to be done, like, right away was, you know, a text message after a text message and an email and the librarian so just several individuals reaching out to us and and then for the past couple of days um you know we've talked about google classroom for for a while now but this past couple of days we've just had teachers calling us or texting us with like reset passwords or or activating student accounts it's, it's something and we've been really busy with you know, uh, resetting passwords and all of that and, and just kind of get it going. And and I know one thing in, in uh, was it Luis that, that mentioned things are, are different and we don't want it to go back to the way it was. And even our son yesterday mentioned like this is online learning and he's done online classes before, but this just has a different feel to it. Um, you know, if I can interrupt. Yeah, I've never felt more useful. In the sense that before, when I deliver PD, people just zone out or yeah. they won't pay attention. But that, but now that they really need it because they really need the tools, now everybody is suddenly paying attention and being really nice and saying thank you and all of yep. that stuff. Absolutely. So, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. And, and, and being in the classroom is one thing. And a lot of like teachers that have called me because with, with a course that I do, everything goes on Google Classroom. So a lot of my kids, my students already know. So they call, they, the teachers reach out to me and I just tell them, I refer them back to a student, like talk to Julio, he knows what to do. Or call Christina, she knows exactly how to upload or how to share the assignments and like that because these teachers hadn't used it in their class much, but now these kids are like the ones that are helping the teachers put things together and, and, kind of, and it's making the transition smooth for uh, for the teachers as well, because it is different. It is, uh, you know, sometimes change is a little scary, but you know, now that we've turned it around, this is now we just got to keep on going forward, like Luis mentioned earlier. So it's it's a scary, exciting time. Um, I, th I think it's good. I think we're all gonna be, you know, learn something new. I agree with that, Omar. We're going to be better for it, all of us. For sure. Hey, Carlos. This is Karen. This is Karen. Can you hear me? Um, I muted. I just wanted to say that, um, uh, and I noted in the chat, I think that the most, the most exciting thing that's happening now is that we're all learning, that uh, the teachers are learning and the students are learning, and it kind of puts us back in touch with um, focusing on getting the content across somehow and being uh, intentional about what we really want to teach, what's important, and looking at the curriculum. So I, I hope that that continues to be the new normal is where we we really evaluate what's important for us to teach. And uh, that's really all I wanted to add. 
but anyway, I, I'm just really excited to be a part of this group. Yeah, uh, Feli wants to share something. <laughs> can they hear me? <laughs> yeah. yeah, can they hear? Yes. I just wanted to say that uh, I know that we're going through a lot with what's happening, but I also see this as a blessing because of how united we have been, how we've been helping each other, we've, we've been working together, but most importantly, we've been collaborating and, and, and working united for our kids. So I know it's it's hard and it's and it's sad, but I've seen oh my god I've seen a lot of love everywhere. So I, I thank everybody for for everything that you're doing for our kids. I truly appreciate it and 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 I love you guys. I do. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Belly. We love you. I love you too, mi vida. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Hello? Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm just listening. I just joined to listen. I'm kind of new to the whole technology thing. I'm one of those old school people. <laughs> um, one of the things that I have seen though is that we have we have some programs that our school district subscribes to that's already in place that kids can get into and have their password and I mean they know their password and how to get into it and we still made a paper packet for distribution that's nowhere near as good as the programs that they can use online so I was you know I've been poking around in Google trying to learn some things to I started out with trying to figure out how to do a Google Classroom or classroom, whatever it's called. So I'm super new to this. Sure. Can you see me now? So can you hear me? Is it working? Okay, good. Um, so I am the district instructional technology specialist for, for Huddo ISD. Um, and it has just been crazy. Uh, Friday, so last week was spring break, but the Friday before that, the superintendent came to me and my counterpart who I'm elementary and then had there's another one like me that does secondary. She does the four secondary campuses, I do the seven elementary. And he came to us and said, I need to talk to y'all, uh, both of y'all right now, <laughs> like before you um, go to a meeting or whatever, I need to talk to y'all. And he said, okay, we need to figure out a way to get everyone on Google Classroom before they leave um, to go on to spring break and get all of their students added. And, uh, and this was actually the Thursday before. And so we had to type out this um, communication. We used this more made a newsletter and you know, we already had resources on how to create a Google Classroom, all of that. So we had it ready to go, sent out the communication. But then we wanted to make sure that all of our teachers did it because although we have a bunch of Rockstar teachers that are using Google Classroom already or that were, there are still quite a few that weren't, especially the younger grades, right? And so we decided uh, my counterpart, since most of secondary is good with using Google Classroom already, we decided we were gonna go to all seven campuses. We broke them apart or split them up and we were gonna go to each classroom and say, hey, are you good? And if they weren't, we'd say either email me 
Uh, I'm going to assume that you'll have it by the end of the day. If not, email me and I will help you. I will create the classroom for you, add you as a teacher, add your students. That's all we need to have done today. Or, hey, let me help you. If you have a second, get all your kids out. That's all we need. We don't have time to sit down and do a quick training, but, you know. So anyway, long story short, we went around and got everybody on. And then last week, I feel like it just got crazy, right? Because, um I guess Texas met someone, I don't know, someone met with our district leadership or superintendent um, and our directors, they had to go in during spring break on that Monday and say, okay, we're closing our district for at least two weeks, but we all kind of knew it was going to be longer. Like this is what we were talking about on Thursday could potentially happen. And so after that Monday, I feel like I got contacted and we just started coming up with a plan. Like uh, I went back into the, the certified group where I saw chats for the Google certified trainer program and I saw chats and I just started reading through what all those people said like searching what other districts were doing and tips in China what they were saying this is what we learned and just started coming up with the remote learning plan and I feel like I have not slept you know in the past two weeks and um we've had to push out so I created um parent guides for a Google Classroom um, and brand new teacher guide that is just custom for remote learning. Um, you know, just sending out all of that communication, creating these, um, a new part of our Hippo Nation page for parent communication. Just, it's just been a lot. And then on top of that, having all of these phone calls and then, you know, our district rely on both me and my partner in crime. It's just, I mean, it's nice that we're getting that appreciation because, you know, they are saying, I don't know what we do without you. And like y'all are saying, um, it is good to know after this is over, like it's not going to be different because now all of these teachers are going to be, you know, they're using these tools and their classroom is going to be so much better now. Um, and like um, Dr. Karen, you had said they're going to start focusing on what's important, making learning more meaningful. So that's good. I see a bright side of this. It's just right now it's stressful. It's I'm tired. <laughs> and but I appreciate I appreciate all doing this. Um, I'm glad that I found your group and thank you for letting me listen in. And I hope to continue to join your groups, your group chats. <laughs> Hey, Kelly. Well, thank you so much for being here. And I'm glad that you found us. And again, yeah, go, going back to just meeting all together and just sharing and, you know, you can hear that sense of tiredness and a little bit of like anxiousness because of everything that's going on. And it hasn't been an easy transition for anybody. And sometimes we can get so lost in our work and focusing and trying to do what we need to do. But then, you know, who's going to listen to us and, and, and we kind of get all lost there. And it's not just us. I mean, I'm sure principals and superintendents are going through the same thing, but I'm glad that we have some wonderful ed tech leaders here that, you know, we can share ideas and just vent. And, you know, I'm glad that you're here. I mean, if anything, I, I hope this makes your day that cracks a smile and mm -hmm. lets you just be like, Hey, you know what? There's people out there that I'm not the only one. I'm not alone. There are other us that are here and, and exactly. we're here together and, and we're united. So thank you, Kelly, for sharing and thank you for joining our group. Thank you. Yeah, maybe, maybe later, like Luisa's. Dr. Shenaman in the house. Dr. Shenaman, where's Dr. Shenaman? No, I see her there too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I couldn't find my unmute. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. 
I just I could, couldn't find my unmute on my phone. I've been on my laptop all day. I know perfectly well where it is there. <laughs> Hi, this is my first time to join y'all. So I guess y'all are just you're just sharing how things are going. Is that what y'all do? Yes. Okay. We we served 500 people today. This time around, we served like 500 people today in webinars. I work at the Region Service Center. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the library coordinator. Had a great crazier than normal busy day and it's it's good i'm really proud of all my librarians they're really stepping up and um believe it or not most of the questions aren't coming from them you know they a lot of them really have a good handle on things i'm real proud of that that they've come so far i know there's lots that need help but still there's a lot of them that have stepped up and are doing great things and it's making me just extremely proud um, of the the work that they've been putting in these last few years That's it. Awesome. Well, look, if you guys are feeling overwhelmed, there's a friend of mine from uh, the co the London 19 cohort. He's called Clay Smith. He works for the New York City Department of Education. Just to give you an idea, they put all the New York City district schools under one Google domain. Wow. Yeah. They Whoa. created 9 million accounts, Whoa. more than 10,000 organizational units, and they've been making it work into different schools. So if you think we've had it rough, Whoa. imagine that insanity. That's true. That's crazy. But he was recently diagnosed with a virus. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, he's doing okay. He just he's 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 got a mild case apparently, and all he's complaining is that he can't taste anything. But other than that, he's doing fine. Yeah, that's one that's of the symptoms yeah. when you lose your sense of smell or taste. Yeah, but nine million people on the same uh, domain—that must be insane to manage. <laughs> Can little sis manage that? <laughs> <laughs> right at the fight IT, where are you? <laughs> I know. Melissa, Michelle, anybody? I go insane with and we have around two thousand. All right, Natividad says she's hey. ready. Hey Natividad, are you there? Hello, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yay. Welcome. Yay. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm so glad to be here. Last time I couldn't make it, but now I'm here. <laughs> Thank you for your help, for listening to all of us. I totally feel you, especially Kelly, because I have been training my coworkers since the beginning of the year. Most of them didn't listen, didn't care, didn't use their resources, and now all of them are asking for help. But of course, we are here for that. I'm so glad that. At least, at least now they are value all the resources we can share with them. I have created some tutorials how to get Google Classroom, how to share the code, how to insert the students into their classroom, and it's been crazy. But I think we are made in, and this is a huge opportunity for the school, for the students to learn, to practice, these digital skills. So yeah, after all this is done, we're gonna be more powerful. That's awesome, Natividad. I wanna I wanna share that um, Natividad is a very special young lady. She's actually here in the Rio Grande Valley, um, and but she's from Spain, right, Nati? Yes. I, I bet you're missing home. How is your, here, yeah. how, are, how are you all doing? How's everything at home? It's really tough. Mm, I people are experiencing different, difficult situations. Mm, now that I'm here so far, nobody wants to tell me everything. But little by little, I notice that it's being really really difficult for them I, been, I have been thinking about you friend so yeah today I um, 
my family tell me that one of my cousins and also my brother have symptoms. So, you know, it's, it's you know, you don't know what's gonna happen, when is this is gonna end. And being now the first country with more cases, cases is not a huge uh, to be proud of. So. Yes, Nati, I just wanted to, to let the group know so that we can, you know, I know this is, you know, a, a time when when it's we're doing more, we're addressing more than one thing. Yes, this is about ed tech, this is about Google, but this is about human beings that connect with each other. And I wanted you to know, you know, that that we're here for you too in more ways than one. Okay, Nati? Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. From Luis. See, babe, I keep going between who the person in the chat, the person in the chat. So I'm gonna man your chat while you're talking to your students. If it serves for anything, she already answered in the chat. She's from Malaga. Ah. Well, I just want to say it's like I'm I'm thankful again, just as uh, I think this is the most attendance we've had <laughs> in a while. So this is great just to see the gag grow. And of course, during this time of need, it, it you know, more people need to be united. And just like I said, I think that's just a common theme here of just, uh, you know, looking out for each other, helping each other out and knowing that there's somebody else there that you can call or message or just vent because sometimes you know we we do a lot of work and we don't have the opportunity to just vent ourselves and we just keep things in and that can be very difficult especially during these times and so it's always great to just you know come to one of these chats and share some smiles share some laughs and that can definitely help our hearts help our minds and just uh, definitely change our, our demeanor over things and just be more optimistic. So thank you for everybody here. And again, you know, for every single one of us, I'm sure that we can be readily available just to, as a, you know, just a quick call or a message or just a quick hello, or just like, Hey, you know, I'm thinking about doing this and how have you tried it? What do you see? What are some successes? So, um, you know, just we should use each other as a resource. And I think like Feli also said, like earlier, you know, we've known each other, we've seen each other and, you know, we've somewhat, you know, collaborated, but now this is the time where we've definitely come together as a, as a ed tech community to be able to serve our learning communities, which include our, not only our students, but to serve our parents as well during this time, because I know that it's definitely not an easy time for them as well as frustrations come about with what's the class code? How does my kid log in? How do I find that? And doing all those things. And so it's definitely a trickle effect. And so 
again, you know, th this is uh, was part of those talks that when I told uh, Carlos, like, hey, man, I, I just joined this talk and it just blew me away and it really helped. And uh, so I'm glad that we were able to provide that here. And I'm glad that Luis is here also as well to provide that insight of what he's going through and how he's been preparing and giving us some insight of uh, other fellow uh, Google innovators and trainers that are out there on the field right now, you know, going through this hardship. So it's awesome. So I'm glad that that we all got to uh, unite here today. Thank you. Yes. Well, no, I, w I just wanted to say, I know Dr. Laura Shinneman's on the line and, and she has brought down some really amazing people into our area to teach us about fact versus fiction. And I got to sit in on some of those sessions. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now, Dr. Shinneman. Um, I'm looking at her face right now. Um, she's a guru. She wrote Jennifer, a book. Jennifer Lagarde. Jennifer yes. Lagarde. So if y'all are looking for resources, maybe Dr. Laura, where could we find some resources that we could share with our people um, that are as reputable sources that could teach us about how to teach kids and Actually, our community? On, on her website, she has all of her conference presentations. Uh, so Jennifer Lagarde, L-A-G-A-R-D-E. So they're all there. But also another group I brought down is the News Literacy Project. And they even have a... Um, email that you can sign up to get where they send out each week they send out like the latest example of what of misinformation um, or whatever other kind of um, wrong news that it is and it teaches you how to evaluate it and what to look at um, to kind of pick up the hints and the clues that it is is not true so the news literacy project if you look for them online Oh. 
Yes. Yes. So on, yes, absolutely. On the um, agenda, I placed a link for the remote learning site. And um, on that remote learning site, it was a collaborative project. This was during spring break. And um, Carlos and uh, Fonz's picture, you need to put your picture, Fonz. Um, and a, a whole group of educators, Omar, and they're, we're all listed here. We just got together and what we, what we were seeing is just in our streams, because we follow ed tech people, we were getting the information, but not uh, as we're finding out and as we already knew, not everyone was active on Twitter and active in the professional learning communities that, and people that we network with. So the goal of this whole site was just to kind of round up as much of the information that was coming in um, regarding remote learning um, and just to kind of put, put something together for our people to begin um, as we were beginning to already have to come up very quickly, our districts and our, our people with plans. So that's what this remote learning site is about. Um, um, if you move over to teachers, it's it's organized by about remote learning, teachers, and then students, um, information for students, uh, things that were crowdsourced because like Dr. Sarah Thomas um, from EDU Match put together like a crowdsourced Padlet. Um, and um, we even included Miguel Gulen's TCEA blog, which was phenomenal. It had a lot of great information. Um, in the parents area, we included that very popular Google Classroom guide that came out. And then, um, you know, we had some of our people like put in coding information, virtual field trips, how you can get ReadWorks for free as a parent. And over in admin, we added that really awesome wakelet that had all those ed tech companies that were offering free support and access during the closures. Um, and so if you all would like, to copy this site, our team knows that, I mean, this is for anyone that wants to use it, you're welcome to copy the site and rebrand it and fix it and make it your own. So we just wanted to share this with you all. Um, this is a resource that is available to you. Just reach out to me if you're interested. And then on the next bullet, um, Region 1 in through e-learning and the collaborative project, and Dr. Shinneman is on the line, Dr. Laura Shinneman. She's part of the team and we're, we were getting together and we're offering free webinars for uh, in response to the high need for a uh, professional learning. So like today I hosted my first using the stream tab in Google Meet um, webinar. And uh, and there's t there's like Google Docs, or, I mean, there's forums, there's, um, if you are a Google district um, and you don't have to be from region one to register for these. And um, this is for everyone and anyone that needs help right now. Of course, we are are um, pushing out communication to our area, but if you're listening in from another area, I know like Kelly's on the line and Dr. Karen, y'all are welcome to share out this link. And, uh, and we're opening up each webinar to 300, is it Dr. Shinneman? I think we're opening it up yes. um, to, to 300. Um, per session and we have plenty of facilitators that are going to be manning the chat and so just I wanted to share this with you all um, let's see and I think that that's all I, I had thank you here Hi, my name is Maria Gutierrez and I'm from Brownsville, Texas. And I'm um, sorry I joined it a little late. I just noticed the time and uh, I don't even know what day it is or what time it is with this quarantine, but uh, I'm here to learn and hopefully I can learn in a little in this little amount of time. <laughs> Wait, Carlos, what if I don't know how to get to the agenda?
Thank you, Carlos. Hey, uh, everyone, I just wanted to, to share, I put the link for the site that Google put out. It's for the resources. Uh, it's kind of a collection point of resources available during the COVID-19 situation. And it's a Google site, so it's constantly updated. Um, uh, it, it, you know, one page leads to another. There's a lot of resources there, but um, I just thought I'd include that there uh, for your for your districts. And that's that's all I wanted to share. Okay, so you guys want to hear what uh, the Colombian government did uh, for us Colombian nationals down here for the crisis? Okay, so uh, <clears throat> there was a presidential decree that was uh, um, put into effect last night at midnight, and all Colombians should stay at home permanently. Uh, people are only allowed to leave to get groceries and or medicines or to go to a bank and wait until and and if the police catch you outside and you're goofing off you can get up to four years in jail which makes things very interesting or if you're goofing off a little uh, you'll get fined with uh, interesting amounts of money but that's about it only people who can be outside are uh, people who are uh, related to groceries, to health, to banking, and uh, logistics, everything else. Um, everybody stays at home. All schools are closed. All businesses are closed. And we don't know what's going to happen with small businesses because, well, people aren't going. So who knows? It's going to be an interesting time when this is over. Hey guys, I wanted to ask just before we all leave, if y'all want to turn on your cams and everything, because I want to try out this new Chrome extension, Google Meet Grid View. So now I see every single one of you on one screen. That way I can take a screenshot of that. And uh, that way it'll be there for the memory. So I'll let you know when I'm ready. I just want to make sure everybody's turning on the cams that want to turn on cams that want to join. Everybody good? Maggie, no, you don't want to turn on the cam? Okay. Anybody else want to join? All right. It looks like we've got everybody. Luis, want to turn the cam on? Okay. Give me a second here. All right. Anybody else? Oh, did Luis leave? There you go. All right. I'll tell you when I'm ready to take it here and I'm ready to rock and roll. There we go. Ooh. There we go. Okay, one more because I accidentally cut my head off since I'm over there. And <laughs> give me a second here. All right. Now, big, beautiful smiles. Say gag. <laughs> there we go, guys. Excellent. All right, guys. I got a nice picture here, and I'll go ahead and put the link up right now. I'm going to go ahead and save it, and that way y'all can have it, and then y'all can post it under social media, and then you can tag uh, the gag they're on Twitter or Facebook or anywhere you'd like. So that'd be great. That's awesome. Hey, post that extension. That's what Lisa was saying. I'm interested too. Yeah, I will. It's coming right now. Let me just save the picture here and the link. I'll put it on the agenda. Yeah, and I'll put it on the... Perfecto. Yeah, I got you. I got you guys. You guys are all taken care of here. 
There you go. So there's on the chat. And then here is the link to the Chrome extension in the agenda. Perfecto. Bye, guys. Let's go. Y'all have a good night. Cuídense. Que los bendiga. God bless you all. Take care, Bye. guys. Bye. Always a pleasure. Love y'all. Bye, guys. God bless. Que los bendiga. Have a good night. Good welcome, mi vida. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> How do I exit? <laughs>